do it with that background? Or it doesn't no matter? Yeah? Cool. All right, Glad Rap Channel here with the former WBO heavyweight champion, Joseph Parker. How are you doing, Joseph? I'm doing pretty good. Um, camp has begun and uh, it's off to a good start. So we've got about six and a half weeks before the fight and feeling good. Uh, you know, your last fight was uh, in uh, early Feb and, uh, you know, you haven't fought since then. But have you been keeping active during the lockdown? Like, you, you look like thicker in, in the chest, thicker in the shoulders, like... You're looking in shape, man. <laughs> the good thing with this camp is that I've started in, in good shape, so there's no need to lose weight. And, you know, I've started off quite fit and pretty strong. So, you know, keeping in shape during the lockdown. And it's, um, you know, it's important to, to stay fit and healthy. Did you get a chance to just heal up maybe? I mean, sometimes, you know, a break maybe it might be good. I mean, because you've been working hard for the last eight years. I don't, I don't think you've ever had a chance just to... Just to kick back and, you know, you've been in Vegas, you've been training with Kevin Barry, you've been living there. And was it nice, in a way, just to get a bit of a break? What was nice was being able to spend time with the kids yeah. and, and spend a lot of time with the family. But in saying that, that I was given, um, you know, I, I sort of put time aside each day to train. And, you know, because you have to be on top of your, you know, your training. Um, and I find it very beneficial. You know, it's now I've said we've started camp and I'm, I'm finding it a lot more enjoyable instead of, you know, when I started camp before and I had to lose weight and get in shape, you know, it's a lot more enjoyable now and um, I'm actually very excited and looking forward to the next six weeks of camp. So uh, obviously there's, you know, there's some amateur rivalry between uh, you and Junior. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how those fights panned out? Like, uh, do you, do you re recollect much of them? Um, all I, you know, if I remember that in the amateur days it was four fights and two wins each. Um, you know, he might, th I thought I won. You know, it's very close because the amateur days you only get given three rounds to throw the punches, you know, as many as you can and try your best to land. Whereas the, the, the professional game is 12 rounds or 10 or 12 rounds and you sort of, you're able to take your time and throw more meaningful punches. So, you know, there is history in the amateur days, but a lot has changed since then and a lot has happened since then, you know, in our professional careers. Um, comparing the both, you know, like Kevin mentioned, you know, 19 fights I was fighting Carl Sacker. You know, now 19 fights, he's fighting me. So this will be his biggest task or biggest fight in his career. You know, you're obviously the, the former world heavyweight champion. Uh, you know, you've defended the belt twice. You've been in there with the biggest names in, in the game. Is there any chance that maybe you might be overlooking Junior? Never overlook an opponent. You always treat, you know, I'm treating this as my championship of the world. You know, my goal is to be champion of the world or unified champion of the world. I believe I can. But uh, you can never overlook anyone, you know, and you have to treat everyone as a champion because the person that you sort of underestimate or the person you don't train hard for is the person that will, you know, beat you. And um, you know, so I'm not, I'm not overlooking, it. I'm not overlooking him. And he's got a great team behind him, so it's going to give him a lot of confidence coming into this fight. You know, that fourth fight with uh, with Junior Far that sort of cost you your shot at the Olympics. Does that do you do you hold any sort of grudge against uh, does that hold any weight at all no grudge um you know the fight the, the fourth fight cost me to go to olympics but then he went on to the finals and lost that fight so he didn't go to olympics as well so if, if imagine if i did go to olympics i would have taken a different path i probably wouldn't have met david and duco I probably wouldn't have lived in vegas you know what i mean things happen for a reason and i'm grateful for everything that happens in my life i don't want to you know things happen for a reason i, I don't want to change it you know you've always been accustomed to training in in vegas um, how has the shift been to training in, in, in Auckland? What's what's that been like? Uh, has it been difficult getting sparring partners? And because you know Junior is based in City Kickboxing, so he's got a line of uh, you know fighters there. So how can you describe what's it been like, sort of training here? It's uh, so far so good. You know we got the strength work, we got TRX, we got boxing work, we've got a lot of recovery work, massages. So it's just um, it's just about adjusting and adapting to the change of scenery. You know. It was like you mentioned, a lot of our camps were in Vegas, but now that we're here in New Zealand, we just have to adjust and adapt and find things that will work for us. And I've, I've been enjoying it so far. My family's here in New Zealand, so I can see them now and then. You know, a happy fighter is a dangerous fighter, and at the moment I am very happy, which means I am very dangerous. <laughs> you know, your WBF number three, uh, uh, sorry, uh, WBO, sorry, my bad, WBO number three. You think about wrestling. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, yeah, and the junior is ranked n uh, number six in the WBO, so. This could pro potentially propel you to number two, and then maybe you're one fight away from another shot at the WBO. Yeah, this fight will, you know, depending on who wins, uh, you know, say I take the victory, then it will propel me up the rankings, and I'll get closer to fighting, you know, 
for the position of, of you know, mandatory and then be able to fight for the world title. So we're not too far off. Not f too far off from being called a two-time world heavyweight champion. Nice. That'll be very nice. And I've given myself five years or six years, whatever, to, to be in the game, to give it everything I have. And no, I know I can achieve it. Look, this, this fight is almost a perfect fight. You know, the rivalry, you fought four times, you're from Samoa, he's from Tonga, you know, in the pandemic, and plus there's a WBO uh, waiting on this. Tell people what they can expect on uh, December 12th. Well, December 12th, first it's going to be a great night. <laughs> the undercard is going to be stacked of um, talent from New Zealand. Yeah. And I guess, like you mentioned, this was the only fight that was on the, on the cards with the pandemic. So we're going we're gonna to make the most of it. You know, and if it's anything to do with me, I want to come. I want to come into the fight and give it everything I have. I'm going to throw a lot of punches, take risks. I'm not sure what his plan is, but um, you know, whatever he's going to bring, I'm going to counter what I have. Thank you very much, Joseph. Thanks for your time. All the best with training. Thank you, Glad Thank you very much. Thank you.